While Congress struggles to secure the $5 billion for Trump's border wall, one American is taking matters into his own hands. Air Force veteran and Purple Heart recipient Brian Colfage started a GoFundMe campaign earlier this week to raise a billion dollars for Trump's wall. In just five days, it's raised over $13 million due to donations from Americans nationwide. Joining me now, Blaze Angolia. He is the chairman of the Republican Party of Florida. And Gina Loudon, political analyst and member of President Trump's media advisory board. Good to see you both. Oh, also, Gina's author of this great book, Mad Politics. Wanted to get that in there, <laughs> Gina. Uh, Blaze, let me go to you, you first. Too. Absolutely. One of the reasons President Trump was elected clearly was the wall. It, it, it ain't for nothing that he said it at virtually every campaign stop he was at. Democrats know this. That's why they don't want to give this piddling amount, uh, $5 billion for the wall. But that's Americans. You still see, I mean, this is not just symbolic, this guy who has a GoFundMe account. I mean, there are millions and millions of Americans who, who voted for President Trump because of the wall. Yeah, it's not just symbolic. What the Democrats really need to understand that it was a mandate. Um, people of this nation want to secure the borders because this is what happens. You get crime, you get drugs crossing the border. And look, when you put this whole thing into perspective, you're talking about $5 billion out of a $4 trillion budget. It's not that much money. So the Democrats are going to underestimate this issue once again at their own peril like they did in 2016. I think, Gina, they're also underestimating the intelligence of the American public to figure out what's going on. They, they all come out with these claims of compassion. You know, we are so compassionate for the children, for, for, for DACA, for the Dreamers, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, what about compassion for the angel moms? What about compassion for, for all the people who've died of, uh, uh, from drug overdoses as a result of the extraordinary amount of heroin coming across the border and other drugs that lead to the deaths of people? I mean, where's the compassion there? Right. And again, this is about action more than words. They can talk about compassion all day long, David, but they're the ones who voted against ending sanctuary cities. They're the ones that voted, uh, you know, ag against... Um what am I trying to say? Uh, the Kate's Law. That's the one. I couldn't think of the name. Kate's Law. Bless her heart. As moms are approaching Christmas time right now, they're thinking about these angel moms who are forever without their children. And they're wondering, this party that talks all the time about compassion, where have their votes been as crime and drugs and murder pour across our southern border? So, Blaze, I'm, I'm thinking that, that Schumer and Pelosi believe if they are able to pin a government shutdown on the president, that's going to be enough to destroy at least temporarily his, his hopes for 2020 and, and perhaps get them more votes in the House and the Senate. I, I think they're, they may be miscalculated. The last 2013, by the way, we had a shutdown. It was blamed on the Republicans. The Republicans pick up, picked up the Senate in 2014. So it doesn't always work the way Schumer and Pelosi say it's going to work. Mark my words, if there is a government shutdown over securing the border, the Trump rallies in 2020 are going to be bigger than anybody hmm. has ever seen. And I want to piggyback on these votes. I know that we're headed towards a government shutdown right now. What I would like to see happen in the Senate right now is take up the House bill with the $5 billion in it, let them all vote on it right now so we can see and have a record of people who truly stand for securing our borders. And let's see who the people are who are voting against that. And if there are any Republicans who are voting against that, well, let's just hand them switch cards and tell them to switch to Democrat right now, because they're yeah. supposed to be campaigning on these issues for years, for decades, some of them. And when it comes time to take the vote, if they vote no, they just need to go away. Gina, we are at, at midnight going to be in a government shutdown. It may only last a couple of days, but how, what's your best guess? How long do you think this goes on? I think it'll be short because this president is so smart, so measured, and so strategic. He always knows how to use his leverage, and this is no exception to that rule. But I think we have to remember that the Schumer shutdown uh, is not going to reflect on this president, no matter what. This is going to fall right on the hands of the Democrats. And let's remember, too, they're trying to make this big deal out of the shutdown, David. But uh, every single president since Ford has had a shutdown. And Obama's lasted 16 days, I think. Yeah. Carter's lasted lasted 17 days, if I'm correct. These things happen. So for people to predict 2020 elections out of this, other than them seeing the Democrats for what they really are, 
I just don't see this falling on the president at all.